the Louisiana law that it, it, it should not lead the news. It should not be the number one story at the New York Times because there's a war about to start in Lebanon, right? And, and Israel's, there's a Wall Street Journal story that there are probably only 50 hostages alive. And Iran is close to breaking out to a nuclear weapon in the Washington Post. But the New York Times, the very, you know, paper record in the United States, begin top story. Louisiana requires all public classrooms to display Ten Commandments, right? Now, I have to put my constitutional law professor hat on and tell you, under existing law decided in 2005 in a decision known as McCreary County, by five to four, this new Louisiana law would be struck down. The point is that the court, as it's been reconstituted as an originalist court, the Ten Commandments on the wall is not going to bother this court. But I don't know that the Supreme Court is going to want to take this up now. It'll be challenged in the District Court of Louisiana, and it will be struck down as unconstitutional. Then it will go to the Fifth Circuit, and it will be struck down as unconstitutional because McCreary County 5-4 decision is directly on point. It's applicable law. So the state of Louisiana, acting within its rights as a state, has decided to challenge that law, and it may or may not appeal to the Supreme Court to accept certiorari on this. Uh, it is a state law. There is no split in the circuits. It is not a big issue. It, there is no other state in the United States that has said post the Ten Commandments. Even if they do post the Ten Commandments, it's not a big deal. I mean, it just isn't. It's not news. Compared to everything else going on in the world, it's not news. But if the court takes it, the court will dispose of its mess of precedents having to do with posting Ten Commandments. And it's a mess. There's a 1980s case Stone. There's a 1995 case McCreary. There's a different 19, uh, 2005 case called Van Orden. The same court decided two cases. The Van Orden case involves the Ten Commandment monument on the Capitol grounds in Austin, Texas. And so the, the Supreme Court, when in its messiest phase, when it was completely incoherent, issued one 5-4 decision saying you can have the monument on the state grounds and another 5-4 decision saying, but you can't post the Ten Commandments um, in a building in Kentucky. And I'm not going to go any further than that. I'm just going to tell you, it's extraordinarily stupid that this law, not the law, the law is fine. It's a statement that the country is founded on Judeo-Christian values, which is true. And if you look in the Supreme Court, at the back of the Supreme Court, you'll see the Ten Commandments and Moses, but other lawgivers like Hammurabi and other things like that. Over, It's in the wall. It's a sculpture. And so all these cases have been kind of crazy for years. And the courts eventually got to replace the mess that the Establishment Clause has become. I don't know if they want to do it right now, but they might.